Welcome back to Pathologic 2. It's 12.25 p.m. on day 10, so we're really getting right down to the end almost. Not much left, and time seems to be accelerated exceptionally fast right now. So, right now, I need to check out these caches that are marked on my map from the town from drinking Twyrine, because I need to get as much schmouter as I can. And as far as quest stuff, whoops, didn't mean to do that. As far as quest stuff, I have the hospital, but I'm pretty sure going there is pointless, but I'm going to go there anyway and probably just get turned away by the guards. Just want to check it, and it's on the way anyway. So I'm going to go to that, going to go to these two caches, and then up to Lara's place, which has this very eerie message about the shelter smelling of gunpowder. I'm not sure what that's about, but I think when I go to leave that place, I think that's when death pays me a visit and instantly, instantly infects all the children on my list. But first, the theater. Got two bad boys here, and they're in the way. The lancet is so sharp. They actually managed to kill a soldier back there. Unfortunately, they didn't drop their rifle or anything like that. They probably wouldn't. That's too good of a thing to just drop, isn't it? Oh, hell yes. This closed door has an army cloak. I don't actually super need to upgrade my inventory, so I actually think I'm just going to wear this one. I'm not going to use it to upgrade my inventory. Not that I could use it right now. But I'm not even going to try to. I'm just going to keep it equipped. Stab. Uh oh. Damn it. Ooh. Whoa. That body did interesting things. I'm actually pretty damaged though, but thankfully I have a bunch of bandages. I've also been not so slowly dying from exhaustion because I absolutely refuse to sleep. Checking out this cache here that actually isn't marked right next to the theater. There's a couple small things in there, but also memorable note. Won't reach the addressee anymore. My bones remain in this ground. I've buried a tooth by every bridge. Huh. Let's go get turned away at the hospital slash theater. Yeah, this is when that happens. Let's go check out this cache right next to the hospital. The one in between two buildings. Schmouter, yes! Crumpled note. They say you can't take your half. It won't be let on the train. We're going on foot. Oh, you can't take your soul and a halves with you on the train? That's horrible. Although nobody can see the, the half. So I guess nobody's stopping them actively, right? Maybe they just refuse to go on it. Let's check out the cache here. I think this one is behind the t this structure. Yeah. Another schmouter, hell yes. Course note. Last chance to leave for the nest. Same price, same place. But I'm a different guide. Make no mistake. Let's go see what's going on with Lara. I really hope they're okay. Remember in my last playthrough they were dead at this point? Who are you people? Bobhead. So, did they execute her? Whom? Uh, the mistress of the house. Uh, Laura? Who are you? So, here's the thing. The mistress of the house, she said, I'm gonna go kill the general. Because the general, he put my dad, Captain Ravel, through a court martial for insubordinate conduct. And then my dad got sentenced and executed as a traitor and deserter. 
and then she said, Fate sent him to me now. A general block, that is. Oh, holy shit. Remember back when... I think this was right around the first day when we first talked with Lara. And we were talking about her dad, I guess in the, what was it, seven years that we had been apart? We didn't know that their dad died, and we are like, oh, how, how did they die? Was it on the front lines? And she didn't want to talk about it. That's why the general put him through a court-martial insubordinate conduct. Executed as a traitor and deserter. Shit, now I'm really worried for Lara. Kill the general. What do you mean kill the general? Just like that. Got herself a gun and went to the headquarters. And to us, she said, take my household and manage it well. So that the whole shelter thing wouldn't end with her, right? So now we're having a look around. Sorry if we disturbed anything. So she went to the headquarters, the town hall. Was it long ago? I mean, you won't catch her on time, unkind sir. Half an hour ago or so. Half an hour. Okay, I think we need to go. And is this when death is waiting for me in the door? Don't see them there. Let's save and get the hell out of here. Let's go. No diversions going straight there. I hope somebody caught her and arrested her rather than shooting her or... God, fuck. Name? Artemy Bura. Doctor, where's General Block? State your business. I want to report my progress with the curative serum. The General is sick. The provisional executive officer is Captain Longin. I'm a doctor. Let me examine the General. General Block is out sick. Captain Longin is now in charge of the quarantine measures. You can try your luck with him when he's back. Where's the general? I'd like to examine him and prescribe treatment. I'm not authorized to divulge that information. The general is quarantined and attended to. You can go. You know, I was never clear on what the hell was happening with this whole the general disappears for a while thing. In my last playthrough, I didn't I didn't really get that. I don't understand what's happening. I know that a lot of the soldiers mutiny tomorrow. Is this the start of a mutiny? Is this how it starts? Maybe they've just like taken Captain Block prisoner. Quarantined how? The whole fucking town is infected. Show me your teeth one more time and it'll carry them home in your pocket. Got it? I cure everyone who is in need. I can help him, too. I have the medicine, you hear me? Door's over there, doctor. But the general isn't. So... What about Lara, then? Oh shit, Laura! What are you doing just in the corner? Door at night. Who screams down your chimney? A white? No, just the wind. He's not here. You're alive. I failed. I failed. What do you have here? A revolver? Give it to me. Discreetly. I couldn't do anything. I came in, waited here. They asked what I wanted. I said I wanted to see the general, and they laughed. Said it'd be a long wait. Why? They've done him in. Without me. So this is the insurrection. But you wanted to do it yourself, didn't you? But you were planning to shout something, too. Make sure he knew what he'd die for. Yes? Yes. What happened?
happened to your father anyway? Was that the story you didn't want to tell me when I arrived? Yes, and I don't want to tell it now. Are you absolutely sure that Uncle Ravel was... by block? Yes, it was written in the orders. We were sent a letter, court-martialed, sentenced to death by firing squad for disobeying orders. Anything else you'd like to know? If father truly was innocent? If the sentence was just? If that was the right thing? Go ahead, don't be shy. Be quiet. They don't care, they're no longer the military. What makes you think so? There's a mutiny, a rebellion, I've overheard. Only, it's not real. They told the soldiers that the general caught the plague, so they're leaving. But he's not sick. They've arrested him. To leave the town, you see. Hmm. So it's a rebellion, but not everybody's in on it. It's just some higher-ups that are just lying to all the general soldiers. And, I mean, what would the general soldiers just going about their daily jobs? You know, they're told to patrol the streets and whatnot. They're told the general has the plague. Okay, don't question it. Why would you? I see full well. Only, here's what I think. Longin, the mutineer's leader, was Block's executive officer. He's a loyal watchdog. Father wrote that he'd go through hell or high water for the general. Meaning? What? It's not a mutiny. They seized him to make sure he doesn't have to disobey orders. They adore him. General Ashes. A beloved general. They removed him from dirty work to make sure he has an excuse. That he's safe. That he's not punished when they return. Wow, really? Huh. That's amazing. That's an amazing length to go to protect someone. Stop shouting, they'll hear. Quiet. And that means he'll escape with his whole hide. Safe with a clean reputation. He'll meet his fate sooner or later. Come on, that's enough war for you for today. It's all pointless. All pointless. To the contrary, such events follow a particular line, so to speak. Oh, and they actually do give me their pistol, although I didn't have room for it. How big is it? Is it 2 by 3 Yep. It's in mediocre condition. Six-chambered military-grade revolver, imprecise, limited range. It's worth keeping, though. It does take a lot of space, but I don't have many shotgun shots. I have five. How much pistol ammo do I have? Uh, oh, 22. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to keep this thing. I'm going to drop a couple things. I have a lot of things that don't really matter taking up space. Any point in drinking more Twirine? No. I know that I tried to drink as much Twirine as possible at the beginning of the day, and then reached a point after I think 5 where I stopped receiving new points on the map. But I was wondering maybe if new points get added throughout the day? But I don't think they do, because that didn't do anything. Mm, I kind of want to take this thing out right now and load it, but I probably shouldn't take it out in front of the military, should I? Where do you think General Block actually is, physically? Do you think they're anywhere I can find him? Not in the jail. I mean, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? What do I do now? Ah, I found a grocery store with lemon and coffee. Nice. got another cache marked on the map. I'm just wandering around to the caches because I don't have any other thing to do for today. So, just try to find more schmouters. Ah, no schmouter. 
Rhythmic Note. Final chapter. Life is fun and life is laughter from this moment hereafter. Life is laughter, life is fun. Save me, please, I have to run. Both Men Whose Finger and this Lance set are really heavily damaged, so I'm just going to go ahead and sell this Lance set and just buy an entirely new one. I have enough Panacea and Schmouters that I feel comfortable treating a couple of people who aren't the kids. So let's do Saba. Put away the shotgun, please. Does that sound happen every time we enter this? Weird. I don't know why that sound appeared. Back home. Let's... Let's reload the revolver. Never fired the revolver in this game. Holy crap, it's slow to reload. I appreciate that though. You know, it's not a run and gun action game. This stuff takes time. Not something you want to have to do in combat. <laughs> Alright, I am starving. That's good. I'll keep these on me. Actually, is there any reason to? Not really, when I have the coupons. What just happened? I was just running. Whoa. Did this happen before? Murky's friend. No, I, I mean, we had this conversation before. This is where all the children are forcibly infected, but it didn't happen this way. I think it happened when I went to leave Laura's place. I don't remember why I was at Laura's place, when, given that she was dead, but... Hmm. Murky's friend. I rise. No one can stop me now. And you can do nothing against me. I am taking them all. Who? All in your care. All you care for. They wish it, you know. Worry not. Children have better odds than grown men. Much better. Like hell, I won't let you have them. I wonder how you think to stop me. I have a weapon against you. You have no weapon. You mean your panacea. All heal, yes? What good is such a drought, a world bereft of the stuff to create it? Wonders flee this world, Bura. I am one of the dwindling few. You fail to ken it yet. Yes, you're a wonder too. Plague, monsters, and wonders. Such is our tragedy. I am both fiend and wonder, true. Stop, Bura. You can't bring them back. It is beyond your power. You know not what I am. So how can you stop my reach? You can't guard them. You can't stop this. Oh, I can stop this. Everyone on my list will survive. I remember my duty. I just realized something that happened. I think we're okay, right? Ooh. I actually got kind of lucky. So I thought there's no point in treating anybody because they're going to be forcefully infected, but... Basically what it does... Wait, why is time passing? Fuck that. There, now time isn't passing. Basically what it does is it re-rolls, like, it's as if it's midnight, it's rolling all of those things, but only for the children. So Han and Notkin were both already infected, so they actually could have died there. They weren't treated. 
think I actually I think I gave them antibiotics, didn't I? If I hadn't have done that, they'd probably be dead. Damn. Okay. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And I have five panaceas and two schmouters, so they are going to be fine. This is going to be a sprint here because there's a lot of children to help out, and I have only about four hours to do it, and time moves real fast right now. Oh wait, I can I talk with you first. Smoke and grease in the air. Are they burning trash? Good to see you, Bura. How are the rest of our lot? Hello, Chief. How are you? Holding it together? I sent Jester away. He kept trying to get close to me. Silly cat. I told him to stay in the corner. He could catch it too. Halves can't get infected. Especially cats. It only works with people. I think you could have become one of ours. You're not limited by a single body. Know what I mean? Yeah. I don't feel so good, Doctor. Maybe you got a pill or something? You're a good man. All of us agree. That's what they say. He's a decent guy. A good guy. His heart's in the right place. But is it, Bura? Remember that trial of yours? How could we forget? You offered fair judgment back then. We threw Lika in the well. And he deserved it. He poisoned our dogs, so he deserved a dog's death. Earth is the fairest of judges, as our friend Namar likes to say. Wait, so that's what they mean they took a stroll down below? Deep? They threw them in the well? Young Vlad's well? But the thing is, Lika was alive, right? So they didn't die, they were here. Just acting weird. What well? In the house, Wolgimski's son digged one. We knew about it long ago. Our halves sold us. They sneak around everywhere. Why? Well, he deserved it. We thought we'd leave his punishment up to the earth. If only you knew what was beyond that well. Well, lots of things have happened. Hey, how's Han doing? Tell him I got no grudges. He's a decent guy. He is. That's why he's sick, too. Let's help out Murky. Slugs and snails and puppy dog tails. I knew you by the smell. How are you, kiddo? My throat is all dry. Everything is dry. I'd like a drink of water. No. No more water for me. I know what that feels like, kiddo. I've experienced it too. Bury me somewhere around those rocks, alright? I want to grow into swivery. It'll be pretty. Oh, they're already telling me where to put their body. Not gonna happen. You won't die, you hear? You hear me? Yeah. I know. You're about to say you don't need me and there's nothing about me to love. I won't say that. I loved you the moment I saw you. Yeah. Listen to me. I saved you from the sand pest once and I'll do it again. Just wait a little. By wait a little, I mean a couple seconds and you'll be right as rain. just happened the sound of paper crushed and thrown away she's not calling but you should come right now she needs you is that a Goliath that is oh man there's not very much time left until tomorrow I have to I have to do the children first and hope that that persists past midnight Han our polyhedron shuddered when this monster was dragged in. 
Tell them to leave. Now. Who's this? Me. Ah, bro. You're the only doctor who comes as he pleases before a patient calls. You're not a stranger to me, you know. But I am. We failed to connect, I'm afraid. It doesn't look like we'll get a chance. I may even regret it somewhat. I regret it too. Although, our fathers managed it. Perhaps we also had a chance. Who knows? Well, if we stop chatting and you try to do something, there is a chance it might happen. In theory. Ah, the kinds. Just tell me, and don't ask idle questions about relationships. Is Capella alive? She is, for now. Capella. As a matter of fact, there's no matter nor fact. I thought I was a mistress, that it was my destiny to defeat this plague, but it turned out differently. I guess this is goodbye, Artemy. No way in hell. First, there's nothing good about any of this. Second, I won't give up on you. I'll help you. They were all taken away from me, on a train car. Everyone under my wing. The future of the town. I know. Take care of Han. He's in the nutshell. You care about him a lot. Very much so. He'll live, I promise. Is there anything else you can do? Anything at all? It's not over yet, I'll think of something. Please take care of my children. If any are still left in the town, if any are still alive. Someone must be. I can tell. But my senses are clouded by pain. I can barely see. God, it hurts so much. So much. I will, don't worry. Take care of yourself for now and hold on. Let's help out Grace. They'll kill us all. They'll spare no one. Hello? I recognize you. I can feel you through this cloth. You're... You. Bura, son. No, just Bura. Your name is Artemy, I remember. It doesn't matter that you're a son. But I misspoke. You're on your own, right? Right, on your own. I... I want to ask something of you. Anything. This architect, he's an artist, and he's, he's, he's my new friend, and I don't want him to die. But he refuses to leave, to leave me alone. Let, let him, take him away from here, away from me. You'll live, you hear me? You'll live. You know what? Let's not say goodbye, all right? No one ever truly leaves, you know. We won't say goodbye, but for another reason. Where is Peter, by the way? Oh, well, I don't have time to look for him. They don't seem to be... Oh. Oh, I can talk if with them. If you truly value my life, then protect the polyhedron. Don't even try. I'm not leaving. What do I need to do? Give her poultices? Then hand them over. I won't leave the girl, and I won't let you take her. My grace. Whoa. Your grace? Fatherly instincts kicking in? She's like a gulp of fresh water, old boy. She sings lullabies to my paintings. Lullabies. They're alive to her. Or dead, but they're people. People. Do you understand? I can almost stand looking at them without nausea now, too. Glad they formed such a strong connection. 
Yeah, there's no chance for me to talk with Peter Stamaton here in the last playthrough, because at this point they were dead as well. At the beginning of at the beginning of day ten, after coming out of the Alongo, I lost Lara and both Stamatons. Protect her. I'm in the termitary now. Need to get to Tai Cheek. Um, I'm a little bit worried though, because it still says perhaps soon I'll see a way to reconcile the kin with themselves. I could return to the Termitary and show the kin my strength, but I believe there's another way. Does that mean that I'm gonna get attacked here? Or it, is the game gonna think I'm trying to show my strength when I'm just trying to get to Daichik? God, I hope not. No, it does. It does. Fuck. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shit! The doors won't open. I can't even get to Tight Cheek. And if I kill them, I'm just showing my strength. Fuck, how do I do this? Uh, when is the opportunity? Opportunity gonna show up? <sighs> this isn't good. I'm gonna load my save game though. Back at Stamatons. Because going here first is not the way to go. Instead of going to the Termitary, I've come back home. Let's treat you. Well knows the kitten whose meat it has eaten. Murky dropped by. Brought a sack of herbs. Guess she wanted to make a wreath. Well, the only wreaths we need now would be memorial. Memorial wreaths my ass. No one's dying on my watch. I don't feel too good. My eyes are burning like I'm looking at hellfire. So, time to say goodbye then? You know, just in case. Remember how we first met? By father's house? Well, can't deny it anymore. I did think you were it back then. The murderer, I mean. But I wasn't such a villain after all. You know, I had a dream. I saw that long neck once. The one your doll is shaped like. It does exist. I tried to track it. Slept in the step. Everyone I told about it laughed at me. But I have seen it, honestly. It's the last vampire, a shop knock at Dieg. They are real. They do exist. Earth makes them from clay and bones. But they're not evil. Really? Really? You just... You... Help the others first, alright? I can bear it. The cauldron is close by. Working on me won't take long. Quiet, you martyr. Let me think. I have about an hour and a half, and I don't know what to do here. Follow the path of patience and wisdom, and just hope... That she doesn't die? Oh, let's watch all these infected disappear. That is very satisfying. Where is she? Where's Tai Cheek? Oh, right there. I don't know what to do about that. I'm not going to show my strength. I'm solving this a better way, but I think by doing that, I'm endangering Tai Cheek. Untreated, she probably has about a 50-50 shot. Which ain't good. That's real bad. I have a hunch. What if I sleep for an hour? Maybe I'll dream. I dreamt that I was in there with Tai Cheek before. Maybe I'll do it again? 
Yes, yes, what is this? Oh. Right, this is the dream where we speak with Father. And the wonders. Few words, no throat, hard to talk. What are you? No name. What are you made of? Of clay and bones. What do I need to learn? All is connected, all is whole. Flesh and earth are the same. We are made of earth. Earth is soaked with blood. As we feed her, we create a hot cheer hell, a cheer hell. A cheer hell is strange things, right? Impossible things. The strangest things in the world. Huh. I guess it's you. Want to ask? Where did you come from? The brides stomped her. The worms needed her. They helped Earth. The worms? You mean the Odongs? They're worms in the soil. They make it softer, kinder. I thought people called them worms to humiliate them. All loops. The circle is complete. One turns into the other. All moves. Earth lives and creates strange things. Circulation of life's juices. M. Shen. You don't need to croak. I'll give you a throat. I name you Amon. You are a wise doctor. Will you care for me? You're not sick. Mother Bodo speaks through me. Listen, for she asks. Will you spare me? Will you let me live? Yes, I promise. Father. Hello, my son. Who killed you, father? He'll come forward on his own, soon. But that's not important. Forget about revenge. I don't need it. What is important, then? All I ever wanted was for you to understand what happened here. How it all went. Why it was needed. I've been told you are the reason for this outbreak. Too strong a word. You were patient zero. You brought the plague to this town. Yes. But why? If you survive a disease, you develop immunity. Our town was grown in a greenhouse. It's a homunculus. Not particularly well adjusted to live in its own. We couldn't support it forever. Simon and I were growing old. The mistresses died. How would it fare without us? I don't understand. This town was connected wrong. Its parts were tied with artificial seams, so different, so awkward. One could say that Simon, the mistresses, and I held it all together by force. So I tore it apart. So you can sew it all back, better than before. Because you're better and smarter than I am. You think my line of fate is more precise than yours? All I wanted was for you to understand, not follow any particular fate. So you did it for me? Of course.
course not. I did it for the town. It needed a vaccination. Besides, it wasn't up to me. What are you trying to say? I stopped trying to ladle out the sea and walked straight into it. I made everyone walk with me, too, teaching them to swim so they'll no longer hide behind sandcastle walls. You're saying horrible things. For the town, huh? What about all the victims? Were they not part of the town? The town needs to move forward, but it doesn't insist. Facing the future is the way of love. Facing the past is the way of love. But the two are incompatible, and it broke my heart. I choose the past, even with the plague and sand castles. I can't bear to lose all its uniqueness. You need not choose, not yet. Moreover, you've already made your choice. Your actions did, for they were driven by love, whether you wanted that or not. Love came from understanding. Understanding creates connections. Connections are the lines. The lines are love. What should I do now, Father? Do what you must. Do what you think is right. If you still have time, try to understand the world as best you can. You won't make a mistake. I respect your choice, any choice. Like I said, you're better than me. You will connect us all into a new whole. You'd do it better. Plague, monsters, and wonders are all connected. Kill one and the rest will suffer too. Is my goal worth the sacrifice? In this case, my answer to that is going to be, no, it's not worth the sacrifice, because this time, we're going to save living Earth. I know now how to touch the apostates' hearts and convince them to come back. Okay, that's what I needed to do. Oh, man. I totally forgot that I needed to sleep on this day. I have an hour. I think... I can do it. Let's go. Oh man, this is going to be tight. Here we go. Entering the termitary with 35 minutes to go. Yeah, that, that'll be enough time. Because time doesn't pass during conversations. Yeah, we're going to be okay. Do I need to speak with you? No, just straight up to Tai Chi Gart. Are you sure it's just straight up to Tai Chi? I don't... I don't see an open door. Confused. Normally there's a door like three levels up or so. Did I miss something? Oh, right. Um, uh, right. Uh, remember the commenter that told me what I have to do. I have to find a worm on an upper level. stay in focus mode. I, I'm gonna assume it's a worm next to Tai Cheek. Oh man, I don't know if I have enough time. Like, are they outside the door? No? Oh wait, right here. Yes. Apostate. She Yunde Arebshe? We don't need you. Leave. Make all day, Hatonge. I will leave. But first, I want to talk to you. Instead of killing. Better kill us. We don't want to follow the line of Burah. What do you mean, Hatonger? Medahekshe, your father led the kin the wrong way. He wanted us to dissolve in the town. We want to dissolve in Earth, our mother Bodo. Dissolving in her belly, we will return. Dissolving in the town, we will fade forever. It will devour us. 
I will lead you differently. Which way would you lead us? How would you make the cut? I came to connect instead of cutting. Father tore old connections apart. The town and the kin were sewn together wrong. The town of men was sewn to the new town of children on the other side, poorly against the guidance of the lines. That made everyone suffer. You're too different. Our worlds are too different. You speak wisely, M. Shen. What do you want to do about it? I'll tell you the truth. I don't know yet. I only know that I will connect what Father has torn apart. My lines aren't cuts, but connections. Veins, nerves, tissue. You are a Yargachin. So many different living creatures inhabit our small patch of land. Alive, all of them. All connected with the same flow. A tohonto, an umbilical cord. Do you promise to do so? I do. Fine. We're curious to see. But woe to you or your successor if you fail. Bearla Hatange. Now it's time for you to go to Shehen. Okay. Schism is no more. Time to speak with the kin. I have seven minutes. Thankfully, they're just right here. Where's Grandpa Isidore? Why did he stop coming by? Oh, Grandpa Isidore. Hembe, who is it? Who's there? Take this nasty cloth off of me, someone. It's me, kid. Hemshen. You're not curing me, and my fingers. What? <laughs> it hurts? <laughs> You're not curing me and my fingers. What? What do your fingers say? You know what my fingers tell me? Come, we need you, mother. I've been here for a long time. If they call for me, I'll go. Because they're calling. I'm mother. I need to care for them. Hush, little one. Be patient like the brave girl you are. Tell me a tale. It'll hurt less if you do. What kind of tale would you like? Tell me how we all could have lived in Shehen. Mm, it's a beautiful tale, but I don't know it. My throat hurts too. Do you have a pill that makes it less painful to swallow? I'll cure you, little one, I swear. Come on, you need to fold your fingers as I speak. Fold your thumb. Singing a song. Barbadai, I found a bowl. Uh, okay, here, fold it. I don't remember how it goes. It hurts. How does it go? I don't remember either. Yes! And I did that with five minutes remaining. Hmm, the schism is no more time to speak with the kin. Wait a minute. Why is this thing still here? The sand pestifies its own rules. It took all of my wards and drags them towards death. Why is that still here when I've just cured her? I've protected everyone I could as much as I could. Yeah. Um, I hope this doesn't disappear at midnight. Let's see. Let's wait a couple minutes. Wow, I am dying of exhaustion and hunger. I don't have any food on me. Alright, roll some dice. This is it. The trap is shut. Finish all your business before morning. A new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theater. They shut down the fun, they shut down the hospital, there's no one left to save. Mm, that was closer than I would have liked. Everyone is going to be alive. Everyone is going to be alive. Everyone's going to be alive. Not infected. You're great, Vlad the Younger. 
Even if you are infected, I suppose it shouldn't matter, being day 11. Nice. 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 Ooh. Oh man, that was close. Nice. Okay. Sweet. And this quest has not disappeared. Okay. Very good. And this quest has also not disappeared. But I need to do everything before... 7.30. I need food and I need more lemons and coffee. <laughs> Let's go speak with the Kim. Wait a minute, I could trade with them. What do they... They have nothing. Okay, that's weird. Are we whole again? Yes, we hear it. We are whole again. I hope so. Go to Shehan. Let Twire part before you. Did you accept your power over us? Are you our father now? Care isn't about power or violence, you fools. I'll show you one day. Bayarla, Seger. We thank you for what you've done for our body. You are a Yargachin. You are an Emshen. Now tell me, what do you know about father's death? Polish, Polish. Why do you ask? I am but the kin's hangnail, a fleck of their skin. I don't know that. Who does then? Our mother superior? A six-year-old child? No. Then ask everyone you can. Gather a council in Shehen. I'll come to you later for your answer. Ah, the screaming's over, thank god. So this is a quest I was never able to do in my last playthrough. The go to Shehen, speak with them. Yeah, I never was able to do that. I didn't have enough time. Let's give the pub a try. I think they often have coffee and lemons and food, definitely. I have enough money to buy the entire store. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Fuck, where's the bartender? No, you gotta be kidding me. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I need to go eat in real life and also in the game. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to try to scrounge up some food and hopefully some coffee beans or lemons and then head over to Shehen.